Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's tip for Reaper, we're going to be taking a look at how we can slice our media up quickly and easily without using keyboard shortcuts or having to worry about positioning our cursor before we do these cuts. We're going to be using a function that you may not have used inside Reaper before. We're going to take a look at how we can add a, a shortcut to that onto our toolbar and how we can implement this particular feature. So let's see how this all works. So the function we're going to be using is the split item under mouse cursor. Now this is a custom icon, a custom shortcut on my toolbar. If you don't have that, you just simply need to right click on your toolbar, customize the toolbar, then simply come down to add. And from within the actions panel, you just simply type in the function you're looking for. So you can see we've got all these different options. All you need to do is click on that, select it, that'll bring that in and create a custom shortcut for you. You can then simply right click on the blank icon and choose any icon you think is relevant to what you're doing. I've done that previously, so I've got that already on my toolbar. Now, as we already know, if you click on these items, in this case, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't work in that fashion. So we could, if we wanted to position our cursor, press the S if you're using the standard uh, keyboard shortcuts, and we could click and we can split our media every time we place our cursor down, which is fine. But it does have several different things you have to do there. You have to position the cursor where you want it, and then you have to do the keyboard shortcut, and then you have to keep on repeating that. A quicker way is by using this shortcut and right-clicking as opposed to left-clicking, you can see we've now armed this particular button. So it's highlighted in orange. And now all we need to do is bring our cursor down to wherever we want to split this particular media item. Click with the left mouse button, and that will start cutting it up. As you can see, it automatically snaps to the nearest guide, which may not be what you want. So you can just simply turn the snapping off, re-enable your split function, and then you can just click anywhere you want with the left mouse button and it'll split it exactly in that position. To turn it off, all you do is click it again and that now disables it and it goes back to the normal way of working. So that's a quick and easy way of creating multiple splits throughout your file without having to keep on using keyboard shortcuts, positioning your cursor where you want it and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. 50% less effort involved in it. I hope you found this tip for Reaper useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to our channel and be kept up to date with all of the new tutorials, videos, reviews, and everything else that are added to it when they're added to it. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below. It really helps. If you've got any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please pop them in the comment section below. And the same if you've got any ideas for future videos or anything you'd like to see covered on Reaper TV. Until next time, happy mixing.